it's time to wean yourself off mommy's milk and grow the up. Water is life, and animal agriculture is a burden to our planet, our society, our communities, and our individual health. But news about Oregon limiting livestock farmers does annoy me because we have big business trying to crush small farmers in order to protect their assets. And I would rather have small farms than large factory farm operations because I think if we had more smaller operations, it would be easier to show locals how much of a burden animal ag really is, how it harms our planet and endangers our vital resources. People don't understand how much is too much. They take and take and think it's always going to be there. Animal ag pollutes land and water, strips it of nutrients. There's nothing sustainable or logical about animal agriculture. Even small dairy farms can still nonetheless be a burden on the land and harmful to the people. Harmful consequences like less clean water to go around. So the dairy industry is a big business, and like big business, it thrives on the exploitation of innocent lives and profits from the ignorance of consumers. So long as consumers don't realize that dairy is unhealthy, threatening our food security, and directly impacting the environment we rely on, they will have profits. Water is life, and we have a lot of problems getting enough water to meet consumer demand for animal products. Small farmers, including crop farmers, who produce for human consumption, the foods that we actually need for good health, are competing with a large industry that is failing, and it will do whatever it takes to survive. Fresh water is exhausted in the animal ag industry, with the production of hundreds of thousands of hectares of animal feed, hydrating the animals, washing and sanitizing the facilities, as well as waste disposal, which inevitably finds its way into our freshwater reserves, contaminating it beyond potability. Farm animals like cows are non-native and grotesquely modified to live and die quickly to produce a product that someone will mindlessly gulp down in ignorance. Their sensitive bellies preferred their non-native foods, which is why we have non-native grass which aren't acclimated to its new environment, needing much more care and water to survive. The land can only take so much. There's a limit to what it can give. And when industries like the animal ag industry make the land sick, there are unfavorable consequences. And we are undoubtedly experiencing the consequence of the selfish consumer demand for this unsustainable industry. Dairy is not medicine. It is not food. Milk is for babies. And I realize that we have a lot of very immature adults in the United States but there is no excuse for ignorance in a world where we have access to lightning fast information. And for the dairy farmers out there that put so much effort into this lifestyle, it is hard to make that switch to a new industry. And on top of that, nobody wants to believe the career that they put their whole life into is making the world a shittier place, literally. But if you still support dairy, you need to hear this. There's nothing good about dairy for human beings. Not in large amounts, not in small amounts, is it ever beneficial to human development or resilience. The only time humans consume milk is from their mother when they're babies. And if you haven't looked up the information provided by scientists from the opposition, you are deciding to look only at one side, which means you are only half informed. The more educated the people, the less ignorant they will be the less likely they will be easily convinced of simplistic marketing tactics and propaganda. I pray that in the near future we will see a reduction in dairy production as the people become more informed, because dairy needs to die for the good of the people and the planet. But I want to thank those who have put in the effort to get to the truth, despite what they want to believe, for their own personal interests. I say this unapologetically with Aries flavor for the sun is in my sign. Milk that comes from a mother cow is for her baby. It's not for humans. It's time to wean yourself off mommy's milk and grow the up. It is a shame that we have advanced this far in our civilization and people still don't understand that milk is for babies. So we have to produce studies that link it to cancer, diabetes, and heart disease and the like. But what is all of that paperwork good for when the important details are completely lost on the ignorant population? If you really give a shit about food security, if you want to produce healthy, nutritious food, educate yourself, grow plants, fruit, nuts, vegetables, grains, Sure, why not? Plant fruit trees, perennial crops, non-GMO, no pesticides, no artificial fertilizers, no manure. If you are codependent on unsustainable products and industries to grow necessary nutrients for human health, you are not free. 
you are on the wrong side. If you want sustainability, you have to prove it. Be a part of the solution, not the problem. How many of your family members and loved ones have to get cancer and heart disease and diabetes and Alzheimer's before you realize, hey, maybe it's what we're putting directly into our bodies. And then passing those inferior genes to the children who are developing chronic diseases before they reach adulthood. If you're drinking milk, you're a baby, and if you're eating cow, you're part of the mindless herd. Give the fruit of knowledge a try and leave behind the generations of brainwashing that they use to make the majority of Americans compliant, docile, and ignorant. The choice is yours. Grow plants in a sustainable way. You'll use less water, feed more people, and make the world a better place. Choose dairy and you're contributing to the problem, and that problem is only going to get worse. It's not about your farm, your family, your livelihood. The choices that we all make affect everyone, including the planet, which we all depend on for life. The sooner we get people on the same page, the sooner we can see some healthy progress and upgrades in our society because it's about time. I suggest dairy farmers start to make the shift to plant production, and I suggest small farmers producing crops for human consumption make smart moves in water collection on your property. There are water conservation techniques within sustainable farming such as companion planting, multi-cropping, not letting the soil go bare, and mulching in some cases. I want to end this by reminding you all that water is life. Our bodies require clean water for optimal efficiency and protection. As a fetus, we are born from the waters of life in our mother's womb. Protect our water from profiteers, from the ignorant, from ourselves. Protect the forests which play a huge role in containing and producing clean water for all of us. Educate yourselves to bring power back to the people. Good luck in your endeavors. I hope that they reflect truth, love, peace, and wisdom for the good of all life. Live long and prosper.